All right, so we've talked already about how we can take a complex number and define it in this form, a plus bi, with a being our real part and b being the imaginary part. So if b is zero, then our complex number is wholly real. And if a is zero, then the complex number is purely imaginary. So it has only the imaginary part. When I add and subtract complex numbers, it's just like collecting like terms. So I'm going to take the real components and sum those. And then I'll sum the imaginary components. So the difference would be a minus c plus b minus d i. It really is as easy as that. So now when I add these, 5 plus 4 is 9. Negative 2i plus 1i is minus 1i. So there's my new sum. 10 minus negative 2, that's going to be 12. Negative 4 minus negative 5 is plus 1i. I can do the same sort of thing finding the product. I'm going to use distribution to multiply out. So I'll end up with AC plus ADI plus BCI plus BDI squared. Of course, I squared is negative 1, so I can rearrange this to collect my real terms, AC minus BD plus AD plus BC make my imaginary terms. Now, I don't remember this. Instead, when I have a problem, I'll just multiply it out. So this one would be 6i plus 21i squared. Simplifying, this will become my real component, negative 21 plus 6i. 10 plus 20i minus 2i minus 8i squared. So that will be plus 8, 18 plus 18i. I'm going to stop this video here and come back and talk about equality of complex numbers in the next video.